Hello and welcome to our webinar, Fall Series Nonfiction. I'm Julia Smith, Senior Editor, Books for Youth at Booklist. Before we begin, I'd like to go over some technical details. Links to today's slide presentation and title list were included in the reminder email you received from Zoom one hour ago. To download them, please open that email, scroll to the bottom, and click on the links located there. You can also download the slides and title list by copying the URLs on this screen into your web browser. If you have any trouble accessing these materials, please contact us at webinars at booklistonline.com. The audience is in listen only mode, but we welcome any questions you may have. On the bottom of your screen is a toolbar with a section for Q&A. If you have a question or need technical assistance, simply click Q&A and type your message into the box that appears. We will do our best to respond to all tech-related questions and we'll pass along all other questions to today's panelists so that they can follow up with you after the webinar. Last but not least, Booklist offers closed captioning on all webinars. To enable or disable captions on your screen, please look for and click the live transcript icon on the toolbar mentioned earlier. From there, you can select show or hide subtitles from the menu that appears. If you choose to enable subtitles, you can adjust the size of the captions at any time by selecting subtitle settings. Today, we have the pleasure of hearing from Wendy Vincent, Library Brand Manager at Rourke, Catherine Camisa, Marketing Director at The Child's World, and Kelly Mullen, Sales Manager at Bellwether. First, we'll hear from Wendy Vincent. Wendy is a former kindergarten teacher who has worked in educational product development and publishing for nearly 15 years. She lives in Columbus, Ohio, and has a dog named Malcolm. In her spare time, she likes to cross stitch, garden, and of course, read. Thanks for being here today, Wendy. And thanks for having us today, Julia. We're so happy to be here and we're very excited to share our new nonfiction titles with you all. But before we jump into what's new for fall, we want to take a moment to acknowledge our recent titles and series reviewed by Booklist, starting with our Data in Your World series. These titles were written by Dr. Courtney Kessler and Dr. Matthew Felton Kessler, professors of math education. Both authors focus on equity and social justice in mathematics through content that reflects real world topics that kids care about. Dr. Kessler and Dr. Felton Kessler just received a grant to continue their research in this area, and we are very proud to have worked with them on this much needed and unique series. Next slide, please. Also reviewed recently is our third release of the continuing series, Leaders Like Us, by Black Authors Matter award winner, J.P. Miller. You'll be seeing more from J.P. and more from Leaders Like Us in just a moment. Next slide, please. And finally, it's our starred review title, Coolest Collections in the Travel To series. Authors for these two titles are Caitlin Dooling and Jen Breach, both of whom also contributed to the title list you'll see today. So let's move on to what we hope will be the next season to bring us lots of reviews, Fall 22. First, in the Discovery Library Junior imprint, we have a very unique series that is sure to have folks talking no matter how they communicate, Words in My World. This series celebrates the differences that occur in our language, including sign language, Spanish and Chinese languages, African American vernacular English, regional dialects, and more. Readers will see that no one sounds the same, differences in language are okay, and everyone is unique. But before we look inside, I'd like you to meet the amazing author of this series. Next slide, please. This is Dr. Nandy Sims. Dr. Sims earned her PhD in linguistics from the Ohio State University and is now an assistant professor of linguistics at Stanford. 
Her research focuses on language variation in communities, and she is actually using these titles in some of her research. Each title starts with a letter from Dr. Sims. Next slide, please. Looking inside, you'll find recurring characters who speak directly to the reader with relevant examples, respectful of different ways people communicate. Content elevates and honors the many different languages we use in all of the different places we communicate. And I'm so excited to announce that. Next slide, please. The reviewed series Leaders Like Us is growing again. Books in this illustrated biography series tell the stories of important leaders in science, the arts, activism, and more. This release, authored by Caitlin Dooling, features leaders in the LGBTQ community. These beautiful biographies feature activist Sylvia Rivera, dancer and choreographer Alvin Ailey, astronaut Sally Ride, and writer, lawyer, activist, and priest Polly Murray. Next. New illustrators are Villa Moret and David Wilkerson continue the picture book style illustrations in these stories that inspire readers to be leaders in their own right. Next slide, please. We are thrilled to add Caitlin Dooling to the Leaders Like Us team. Caitlin is also the author of the reviewed gaming and esports series and the starred review title Coolest Collections. We recently interviewed Caitlin about these titles and the full interview is available on the Carson DeLosa website. And this season, as promised, we bring you more from JP Miller. She is the originator of the Leaders Like Us title style and the winner of the Black Authors Matter Award for Children's Literature in 2021. We are talking about JP for a few reasons, one of which you will find out later, and because she is the author of a new reader choice title releasing alongside of Caitlin's titles. Next slide, please. And that choice was Gabby Douglas. It all started with a vote. Our readers chose who they wanted to read about. And JP has been posting on our YouTube channel as she creates the Gabby Douglas title. From research and outlines to working as an author and with an illustrator, JP is showing readers and educators what it takes to make her awesome titles. Next slide, please. And moving into our high tide imprint for older readers, we have a career focused series, Design Your Future. There are so many ways to design a career, maybe some that readers have never even thought of. Readers think about what they like to do. Do they like to work with others, work creatively on their own, work outside or in an office? Their interests can help them build a path to a job they'll love. Readers explore careers in the outdoors, careers to help others, and careers in the studio. Next slide, please. Written by a school psychologist, each title highlights unexpected and varied careers with a focus on what kids love to do, not just on the careers they might have. One great feature of this series is the practical advice it gives. Each career focus provides information like work environment, years of schooling, and things kids can do right now to help them get more experience. Next slide, please. And we are pleased to add Chantelle Gobin to the Rourke author team. Her experience working with kids really shines in these titles. She is already working on six new social studies titles to be released in the spring of 23. Next slide, please. Also in High Tide, readers take a food tour to discover all sorts of interesting facts about food and its role in our lives, past to present. Readers will learn about how their favorite American foods migrated to our country, how cultures celebrate with food, foods and flavors that are man-made, historical significance of certain foods, food engineering, how we get our food today, and much, 
much more. Next slide, please. These high interest titles feature modern photos and highly browsable on-trend layouts modeled after menus and takeout packaging design. Each seven by nine 32 page title also includes a recipe. Next slide, please. Jen Breach returns for this series of four titles. Jen is also the author of Places of Protest from the Travel To series. Next slide, please. And next in our Big Kids High Tide imprint, we have Raise Your Hand. Each title explores opportunities for leadership from running for school council and organizing volunteers to starting a small business. Next. With a focus on helping students find their voices and take action, each title provides practical knowledge and outlines the steps kids can take to turn intent into accomplishments. Upper elementary and middle school readers can prepare for service projects, school government opportunities, and ways to build business prospects for the future. Titles are seven by nine and 32 pages. Next slide. And you may recognize Christy Mahali as the author of our reviewed issue centric series, Defining and Discussing. Christy specializes in topics surrounding civics and government. Next slide. And for our oldest readers in our Connections imprint, our new reviewed Travel To series continues. This series is a field trip on a page, highlighting the importance of place and time the Travel To series spans the most known to the most obscure places, times, and touchstones that tell the stories of who we are. Joining our existing titles, Places of Protest, and the Starred Review Coolest Collections is Travel to U.S. Landmarks, Monuments, and Symbols. This title asks, what places represent America? What do they say about our culture? And do they tell everyone's story equally? Next slide, please. This title features well-known places viewed through multiple lenses and perspectives, as well as lesser known landmarks around the US. With a standout design and browsable layouts, readers will love this high interest addition to one of our coolest new series. As you can see, there are discussions of the impacts of landmarks and locations on people like monuments of the Confederacy and Mount Rushmore, as well as moments of fun and obscurity like the Cadillac Ranch and the Singing Road. And the author of this title, Lisa Kirkhoff, has written many titles for Rourke, including our best-selling series, Nonfiction Companions. Next slide, please. And finally, I'd like to introduce the Spanish translations of some of our most popular Discovery Library Junior titles, My Life Science Library. Next slide, please. This translated series of six focuses on grade level content and NGSS expectations for primary students. The perfect way for Spanish first speakers to build content knowledge in their home language these books include vivid images and grade level appropriate language. With the addition of this series in Spanish, we now have 24 My Science Library titles for K2 in both English and Spanish. That includes My Physical Science Library, My Earth and Space Science Library, My Engineering Library, and now My Life Science Library, all work together to help early readers build content knowledge in the four core ideas of the NGSS. Next slide. And finally, a sneak peek of JP Miller's newest title in the Leaders Like Us series releasing in November. We are pleased to add Katanji Brown Jackson's biography to our ever growing list of Leaders Like Us titles. And that's all for us today. Feel free to reach out with us if you have any questions and thanks again for having us. Thank you so much, Wendy. We'll now hear from Catherine Camisa. Catherine has worked in children's publishing for over 10 years. 
She is a believer in the idea that every child is a reader if you get them the right book. Take it away, Catherine. Thank you, Julia. And thank you everyone for being here today. I'm so excited to share the Charles World's uh, new nonfiction titles for this fall. Uh, just a little bit about us first. Um, since our beginnings in 1968, our goal has remained simple. We want all young children to truly enjoy reading and learning. Our content supports early childhood initiatives, including phonics and social and emotional learning skills, as well as high interest topics and state standards in language arts, STEM, social studies, and character education. Uh, this season, uh, it's really exciting. We're launching four brand new imprints and I'll be focusing on two of those imprints today. And all of the series uh, featured here will be um, published under one of those imprints. It's a diverse mix of content and um, it's all will be available August 1st. The first imprint um, I'd like to share is Stride, Reading and Learning in Step for grades uh, second through fifth. And these are gonna be dynamic high interest books that are gonna fuel that desire uh, to learn and energize a love of reading. Readers will advance their confidence um, as they hit their stride with in-depth nonfiction learning through a cross-curricular approach. And some really um, key parts of the imprint, of course, are the high interest topics, those sidebars with additional information for in-depth learning and resources to encourage further research. And the first uh, series uh, within Stride is Reading Rocks. Uh, this is a 12 book set written at a third grade reading level. Interest is uh, third to sixth and they're all 32 pages. Um, so these could even go up into middle school for struggling readers. Um, all of the titles are available in reinforced library binding or as multi-user eBooks. And that's true of every title um, that I'm sharing with you today. And this series was really conceived of the idea that, you know, today's reluctant readers are easily distracted by screens. I could argue that adults and any kid alike um, is distracted by screens, but the series was conceived with that idea. And what if they had, you know, a book series that was really designed just for them. And so our Reading Rock series is offering young readers books they'll love. It's packed with fast paced text and awesome photos. Um, these books are going to feature today's most exciting topics and will encourage kids to put down their devices and pick up a book instead. Um, as you can see, the series covers a range of topics from deadly dinos to soccer superstars uh, back to famous ghosts. Uh, some hallmarks of the Stride imprint are going to be those full color uh, photos and, and also graphics for visual learners. Infographics um, are found within each of the books and they provide additional context for the material. Uh, on the bottom, you'll see an example of that from Orcas, which highlights the Arctic Ocean food chain. Uh, another feature, of course, is gonna be informative captions. It's always gonna be paired with these large color photos. Um, each book also contains uh, fascinating decodable text, amazing facts and cross-curricular and cultural connections. At the end of each book, uh, readers will find think about it questions, as well as suggested websites and sources for further research. Uh, this will help kids stride further as they deepen their learning through research. So this is just a highly like wonderful, great high interest series that covers quite a few topics. And so there's something for every reader here. Uh, next, we have for professional football teams which will give young sports fans a look at all 32 NFL franchises. Uh, there's, so there's 32 books, one for each team, written at a third grade level, interest for second grade through fifth, and these are 32 page books. Uh, and readers will be able to explore the league, the team's history and memorable moments and players past and present. Uh, all of the titles can be purchased, of course, individually, come they can be bought as a set, or they're even broken down by conference divisions. Uh, here you can see all of the American uh, football conference teams. And here you can see the national football conference teams and every book contains full color and historical photos and that easy to read high interest text. Uh, the content in the series is like is really well designed and it's really going to appeal to reluctant and struggling readers. There's bold graphics that are really highlighting these amazing feats in the team history. And every book contains exciting stats on the team's top players. 
Uh, the photos are a lot live action shots or some other uh, otherwise engaging image. There's also a mini timeline in each book featuring key moments in the team's history. And um, the books have quite a few different types of layouts within them. So that's what I'm showing um, quite a few within this series. And all of these features provide additional information to enhance learning and really um, draw readers in. This series will engage even the most reluctant of readers and immerse young fans in the exciting world of football. And then the uh, other imprint I'd like to share today is our new Wonder Books, early nonfiction filled with wonder series for grades first through third. Um, this imprint is really meant to open a child's world to the wonders of learning through elementary friendly nonfiction. Uh, these titles support state standards and will instill a love of learning by providing by presenting that subject matter through a lens of curiosity. Some of the hallmark features of the imprint are going to be graphics for visual learners, a STEM activity or writing prompt to inspire uh, curious minds, and sidebars containing additional in-depth information about the book's topic. There are four new series uh, coming out from under uh, the Wonder Books imprint. Uh, the first of which is our Let's Explore Ecosystem series. This is a 12 book series uh, written at a second grade level. Interest is from first to fourth and they're 24 pages. Earth is home to many types of environments. Uh, and this series is really taking readers from the towering mountains to the vast grasslands. Uh, featuring the animals and plants that live there and the characteristics that make each ecosystem unique. Um, each book also offers ways uh, people can help uh, protect these environments. And like every Wonder Book, each of the books within the Let's Explore ecosystems is going to contain a variety of features to help readers connect more deeply with the text, including captivating full color photos and fascinating fun facts. Um, there are also full color graphics such as maps, diagrams, and charts for visual learning, bringing these concepts to life um, and really giving them purchase um, in the kids' um, mind as they're learning. Um, as you can see from the bottom uh, sample page, you can shows a great example of how the maps appear within the books. Uh, each book also contains uh, a STEM activity or craft. And at the top, you can see an example of one of those, and that's on how to build an ecosystem in a bottle. Uh, these books are just wonderful introductions to ecosystems and fit nicely within elementary uh, science curriculums. Uh, next, we have Investigating Pollution, which is an eight book series written at a third grade level. This is for interest uh, second through fifth, and they're all 32 pages. Pollution is an urgent issue that impacts our planet in ways both big and small. And the series presents some of those, uh, some of the Earth's most pressing ecological issues. Uh, this series uses scientific facts and narrative stories to show readers how pollution can affect uh, our daily lives and the world around them. Uh, this series covers topics ranging from agricultural waste to plastic pollution. Full color photos, sidebars, and fun facts will fascinate readers and help them engage with the topic. Every book also contains full color graphics, um, at, such as maps, diagrams, charts, again, for visual learning. Um, at the top, you see an example of an infographic showcasing how long it takes for various types of waste uh, to decompose, um, which is just a great visual representation of the material. Uh, again, another ha a hallmark of the imprint is that the series contains a STEM activity to encourage hands-on learning. Uh, the one depicted here is showing um, is an activity on how to create biodegradable plastic. Plus, each investigating pollution book also features a fast facts page at the end that has quick bullet points containing key takeaway information about the topic. These books will help um, young children learn about the pollution and also expand their knowledge about the world around them. Uh, next, we have Community Helpers. This is a 12 book series written at a second grade level, interest kindergarten to third. Uh, they're 24 pages and they're introducing kids to 12 familiar but fascinating professions. So from coaches to veterinarians, young children will learn um, the on the job accounts and career specific facts uh, to show how these helpers contribute to their neighborhoods. Uh, full color photos and graphics appear throughout the book and informative sidebars offer additional information relevant to the topic. 
These sidebars um, are, they appear as boxes within the pages, as you can see there from the samples. And they begin with engaging questions to draw the reader in, such as what are some tools I use? How can I explore this job? And then those are answered within um, those, those boxes. Um, additional sources for further research and helpful glossaries are included to aid in comprehension. Um, so since this is a non-science version, a uh, science uh, topic within the Wonder Books imprint, it has a writing prompt instead of a STEM activity. And this is included at the end of each book to get kids thinking beyond the page. Uh, the series, so this series will help kids just get a great, um, gain a better understanding of these professions and become inspired to pursue careers that make a difference. And finally, the last series that um, I'd like to present today is our Learning Core Values. It's a 12 book series written at a first grade level, interest is preschool to second grade, 24 pages. And this series will introduce 12 important ideas like courage and tolerance using real world examples and everyday scenarios to help young children understand the importance of values in a simple, uh, identifiable way. Large full color, Go ahead, next slide, sorry, go ahead. Uh, large full color photos are featured on every single spread. Um, they're really prominent and they have great informative captions. Um, each book begins um, by defining that whatever the value or idea uh, topic of the book, such as what is tolerance, what is courage, and then each spread will feature uh, how that value is applied in a new setting, such as at school with friends, et cetera. Um, there are fact boxes or actually circles here. You see the bright orange one there that offer additional information relevant to the topic. Um, every book also ends with a writing prompt to take readers beyond the book and get them really thinking and learning. Um, more deeply. And there are sources for further research and suggested websites to aid in further exploration. So this is a great introductory series to help kids understand the importance of core values and strength of character. And again, thank you all so much for being here to learn about the Child's World's new series. Um, my contact information is on the screen. So if there are any questions, well, please feel free to reach out to me after the presentation. Um, and I will go ahead and turn it back over. Thank you so much. Thank you, Catherine. Last but not least, we'll hear from Kelly Mullen. Kelly says, I feel very lucky to be able to sell best in class nonfiction books for the beginning, struggling and reluctant readers. It is so rewarding to hear from our customers that they can't keep our books on the shelves and that even the most reluctant reader gets excited about our titles. When the libraries are closed and I'm not driving my kids to hockey, I enjoy spending time with my husband and two boys who are constantly asking me to bring home more of our books. Close us out, Kelly. Thank you all. So happy to be here and to talk about our new season for Bellwether. Next. I always like to start off with what I call our bellwether essentials. It's what you can always count on for us. And we're starting it off. If you can see the picture on this slide is an example of librarians blast off readers section in their libraries. So we have a very much put out a product that we know readers love. We're well reviewed by people like Booklist. We have a premium design and unmatched consist consistency. And we also have a fantastic fill rate. Next. Some of the highlights for this season, we have 138 new titles. We have a new imprint, Blast Off Missions, which is a new narrative nonfiction, fully illustrated imprint. We've covered all our bases with high interest subjects from animals, holidays, exploration, cars, space, machines, and a few curriculum aligned topics with seasons, weather, communications, and presidents. Next. And we are keep adding to our blast off family with the blast off missions you see here with missions, beginners, our signature imprint, blast off readers, blast off discovery for the fluent readers, and then all of our high interest imprints below. Next. Again, adding to that blast off universe with now our illustrated blast off missions. And then we take people from the beginning readers with blast off beginners all the way through fluency and blast off discovery. Next. So kicking us off with our new imprint, Blast Off Missions, 
an imprint featuring narrative text and colorful, playful illustrations to engage and motivate young readers. Next. You'll see within this imprint, there's three new series of six titles each, high interest topics that are fully illustrated with a narrative text, interest level of K through three, reading level one through two, 24 pages and our standard trim size of six and a half by nine. Next. So some of the bonus features within these titles are gonna start off with the mission goals, which gives three objectives. So like one of those is being finding the sight words throughout the book. And then they will end with beyond the mission, again, giving the reader three prompts to think about what they just read. Like if you could name a moon on Jupiter, what would you name it? Next. Our first series is amazing animal classes. You'll learn about different animal classes. Each title goes around the world to find famous and fun examples of animals from each class. Next. They also will have these text boxes that says Jimmy Says that will give the reader added fun facts about the topics they're reading about. Next. And again, the playful illustrations to really engage the reader. Next. Our next series is Journey into Space. Again, gives, this gives me a little bit of a magic school bus feel with six new titles. Climb into your spaceship and blast off through our solar system with a narrative text that presents factual information in story-like format. Next. Again, you're gonna travel along with Blast Off Jimmy and understand fun facts about the solar system throughout the book as you go through the journey. Next. There's gonna be the diagrams and just continuing on with some of the nonfiction features that you've come to expect as well. Next. Our last series within Blast Off Missions is Machines at Work, which is a day in the life of different machines. Next. And next. And next. Moving on to our Blast Off Beginners, which designed and leveled to support first time independent reading experiences. Next. We have 26 new titles for fall. All the Blast Off Beginners are gonna have labeled photographs with key vocabulary, predictable sentence patterns, listed high frequency words and picture glossaries. Our first new series is Happy Holidays with 12 titles. There's a new title in here that's called Indigenous People's Day that we had heard a lot of requests that that title was not well represented in holiday series out there. So we were excited to add it to ours. They'll have basic facts about popular holidays from around the world, when they happen, why they happen. Next. Unique spreads at the end of these titles with highlights that'll have activities and how to celebrate ideas as well. Next. We have a season series with four new titles. Next. I'll talk about when it takes place, what it's like, ways to enjoy it, orders of the season and the year. Next. And the special feature at the end is the book will end with a fact page that summarizes how to be ready for the season from clothing, activities, et cetera. Next. We've extended our two cute series, learn basic facts about each baby, including favorite foods and how they play. Next. Features show the animals at each stage of their life from newborn to adult. Next. And let's be real, you can never go wrong with baby animals, they really are just too cute. Next, rounding out our Blast Off Beginners is an extension to our Community Places series with four new titles. It just takes the reader into familiar, familiar places in their communities. Next, just gonna be a classic nonfiction beginning reader series. Next, next. Moving on to our signature imprint, Blast Off Readers, a carefully leveled imprint designed to guide beginning readers through each stage of their journey to, towards fluency. Next. These readers are leveled one through three, starting in first grade and going all the way up to third grade. Next. Our first new series is Weather Forecast. Learn about different parts of weather. Next. Diagrams will show how each weather event forms and activity lists help readers see how weather affects people each day. Next. 
A concluding question helps readers reflect on what they have learned and an activity feature like a favorite thing to do in the weather of raining was jumping in puddles. Next. Next up is an extension to our Backyard Bird series with six new titles. Help young readers learn all about where these birds live, what they eat, and how they survive when the weather gets cold. Next. There's speech bubbles that show the bird's song and how they talk to each other. Next. And family features that introduce closely related birds. Next. We've extended a top selling spotting difference in series with four new titles. The major feature in these books is the full side by side spread comparison, letting readers spot the differences on their own. Next. It'll point out special features of each animal. Next. And the simple informational text that talks through the physical and behavioral differences. There's filled with fun facts like aardvarks have big ears and anteaters have small. Next. This next new series is my favorite new series of the season called What Animal Am I? And this is a level two second grade reading level. These will be written in first person. The text presents the reader with a mystery animal and then gives a big reveal. So you can see on these covers, there's the opaque animals with the magnifying glass all over the cover. Next. The guess who format engages readers and encourages connection with the text. They'll highlight four animals that are featured in each book so you can discover a diverse array of animals in their habitat. Next. Plus the big reveal at the end of the book of which animal they are. Next. Next. Next up, we'd be getting a lot of requests for a country series at a lower level. Our traditional country series come in at a fourth grade reading level and now countries of the world we're doing at a second grade level. It's gonna be each title will dive into the ge geography, climate and culture of a specific country. Next. Special features will highlight the landscape, animals, languages, foods, and holidays. Next. Maps will show their locations in the world and the capital city location, greetings from each country, and they'll conclude with the facts that profile and summarizes the country and its demographics. Next. We've extended our Animals at Risk series with four new titles. They're filled with a lot of special features. Readers will learn about the threats facing these animals as well as ways to save them. Next. Range maps will show where they live. Conservation status bars and lifespan facts show how each animal is doing in the wild. Next. There's a threats infographic that highlights the challenges the animal face and effects diagrams show how the animals help the world. Next. We've extended our American President series with four new titles. And readers will learn about some of the most well-known presidents in American history. Next, there's timelines that highlight key points during the president's time in office. Maps showing where they were born. Next, profiles that offer facts such as term length, political party, and vice presidents. Also show fun facts like favorite foods, books, hobbies, etc. Next. New series, Careers in STEM, which pushes up into the level three blast off reader, putting it more in a third grade reading level. These books will explore careers that use science, technology, engineering, and math every day. Next, they'll follow the daily tasks and education required for each career. They'll talk about how each career uses STEM and explains the steps to begin each career. Next, and additional features are introduce a famous person in the field. Next. We've extended how it works with four new titles. Readers will explore the science behind the common machines and vehicles. Next. Infographics highlight the key parts of each machine. Sequences highlight how humans control the machine. Next. And questions will encourage students to think creatively about the future of them. Next. Moving on to Blast Off Discovery, it takes the reading momentum of Blast Off readers and launches a new mission of reading to learn. Next, our new series in Blast Off Discovery is U.S. National Parks, which would be a great complement to our state series that we launched last fall. They have narrative openings that take readers on a journey in the park. Next. Maps call out where the park is located. Landmark features highlight famous sites in the park. Next. 
fact pages, list park stats, how many visitors, and what can you do at the park. Next. We've extended our country profile series. This puts us at 72 titles in this series. And if you're familiar with these, they're just beautiful books. Next, they're filled with the great photographs and filled with a lot of information. Next, like recipes, languages, top landmarks, animal profiles, famous people. Next, Epic is gonna be our high interest, ultra low reading level. These books will have a mature look and riveting layouts to keep the reader engaged in turning the pages. Next, our new series in Epic is Cool Cars. They'll have opening narratives that draw the reader in. Next, we'll give engine specific specifications, highlights the car's power, stat sidebars present cost, year first made and other basic facts. Next, Maps show where the car is manufactured, and they'll also be as seen in profiles of the car's appearances on TVs and movies and in the media. Next. We've also extended with four new titles, Favorite Toys, which dives into the history behind some classic toys and explores how they are popular today. Next, there's timeline showing important dates in their history, map showing origin of the toy. Next and infographics that show different iterations of the toy. Next. And our last imprint is Torque, which is an exciting high interest content paired with low reading levels to motivate and excite reluctant readers. These come in in that third grade reading level. Our first new series is Dangerous Journeys. Readers will learn about what it takes to journey into some of the most dangerous places on earth. Next. Engaging text informs readers about dangers that await and how they can be overcome. Special features like maps where the journey takes place. Next, there's a famous explorer profile. There's checklists on what you would need for this adventure. Next. And last up is an extension on probably our top selling series of all time, Animal Battles, which puts this series up to 26 titles. And we still have more in the pipeline. We have to keep reprinting these all the time. They're just that popular. But they start with a narrative scene that imagines a fight between the animals. Next. They have profiles that offer stats on height, weight, and habitat. Next. There's a range map on where they live. And there's also a lot of fun facts like the mantis shrimp versus the lion fish. Mantis shrimp punches are so fast and powerful they boil water around them. So very high interest engaging series. Next. And that is it for Bellwether's Fall Series. Again, we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to present. We do have a promo code if you'd like to get 10% off a website order. And please reach out if you have any questions on what you've seen here today. Thanks again. Thank you so much, Kelly. And a big thank you to all of today's wonderful panelists. Tomorrow, all attendees will receive an email containing links to today's slide presentation, title list, certificate of completion, and video recording. For more about Booklist webinars, be sure to visit booklistonline.com webinars, where you can view archives of past webinars and register for upcoming ones like those you see here. July is Read Graphic Month here at Booklist, and this year we are going bigger than ever. Check out the Booklist blog to enter our sweepstakes, register for our graphic novels webinars, including a presentation about comics and censorship with the ALA Graphic Novels and Comics Roundtable Committee, listen to our Read Graphic playlist on our YouTube channel, and of course, read this year's Guide to Graphic Novels issue, which is focusing on all things manga. Now you can share book list with everyone connected to your school district, library system, or higher learning institution. Booklist Online Unlimited offers just that, unlimited simultaneous access to 30 years worth of reviews and articles archives plus digital editions of Booklist, Booklinks, Booklist's Guide to Graphic Novels and Libraries, and Booklist Reader. For pricing and other questions, visit booklistonline.com slash subscribe. Have you heard? 
Booklist Reader, our new magazine that offers reading recommendations to patrons of all ages, is coming to print this January. Go to bit.ly slash booklist reader in print to find out how you can order print copies in bulk for your library. Already have booklist subscription? You can share the latest issue now. Go to our website for more details. And we are very excited to share that Booklist, Booklinks, and Booklist Reader recently joined the Overdrive Magazines program in partnership with Zinio and are available for your patrons to read in Libby. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. One more huge thank you to our panelists and to our sponsors, Rourke, The Child's World, and Bellwether. This concludes today's webinar. See you next time.